Hello everybody! We are finally back to playing Metal Gear Solid 3, the Snake Eaters. Uh, I just want to make sure I got everything. Okay, hold on. I'm going to check my uh, backpack real quick. Okay. Okay, we're good. Actually, did I get the cardboard box? Okay. All right, we're good. So, uh, last we left, uh, we gave, uh, Ocelot, or Eva gave Ocelot practically, like, the equivalency of a, uh, of, like, a flash kick or a martial law flip kick. Take your choice. So, yeah. Oh, because I haven't played in a while? Yeah, all my food's gross. So, uh, big thing is, I I'm, I'm actually going to keep these. Well, actually, no. Let's do one dumb thing real quick. Um, let's... Because I'm going to get food poisoning. So, yeah. When you get food poisoning, your stamina will decrease. And uh, we'll just let that rock for a second. Because the next area is going to be fun. Not really. It is probably one of my least favorite parts. Oh wow, I didn't even put on my thermal goggles. So yeah, I'm probably gonna use the thermal goggles a bunch. Mm, okay, I think I'm good. Just wanna make sure I got everything. And the thermal goggles are great because you can see stuff. So, good thing about this area is there is no guards. So, one cool thing to do. So, if you shoot the snake. So, see it's sleepy and it's in a cage. We can use that later. And I'll show, um, after this level area, I'll show you where to use it. Actually, you know, let's capture a couple. So, food poisoning stinks. It's never good to to get but a uh so um let's see because you could use a cure item she medicine yeah digestive medicine so it's just for treating your stomach aches but you can also do something cool again showing you how to throw up just spin around a little bit and that should do. Blah. And now we're cured of food poisoning. Though we have no food. Not yet. So, these guys are going to be our food. Okay, there we go. And I will introduce you into the next area of crazy shit going on. So this part sucks, because there's a bunch of uh, alligators, and if you heard something just recently, it is a new little enemy type. Well, not really enemy type, but annoying creature. Is that... Okay, that is a crocodile. So, I always just recommend... Like, uh, you can be as loud as you want in this area. So, biggest recommendation is do not get into, uh, deep water. They will seriously one-hit kill you. They will death roll your ass. And it is actually pretty cool, you know what? Uh... Maybe later I'll do a death roll. <laughs> Show what it looks like as a death roll. So yeah, let's, um... Get some food, mushrooms. I said, kill all the gators in there. As you can see, my stamina. So, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the different mobility options. So if you use the left analog stick, you can run, you can spin them around. But uh, they have like a walk. Still makes noise. But if you use the D-pad, you can do this like special silent walk 
And we get a phone call. I think from Eva. Yep, from Eva. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Oh, other yeah, cool thing, if you hit left and right on the D-pad, how it says two out of the four. Boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess you can look at extra pictures. In common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to. Even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. So, a little backstory about Eva. So, now you, you hear that little growling. That's actually our stomach. So, uh, as you can see right here, well, also with the... So, the great thing about thermal goggles is, of course, you can see trip, um, trip mines and uh, um, traps. So, what you do, if you use so, if you use the, the, the D-pad, the stalking mode, it's called. Oh, never mind. Usually it actually shows you. <laughs> Usually it shows you, like, a little exclamation point over your head. So, yeah. Just be careful. Traps. So... Yeah, I'm getting whooped. I got a leech almost on my dick. Almost on my dick, like right next to it. So what you do is you burn off the leech. Pretty simple. Um, So jumping in water like that will make the leeches come out. So, so that does not happen again. We will use that, was it the hornet stripe? And camouflage doesn't really matter here because there actually are no enemies. The only enemies here are actual uh, um, alligators and stuff, crocodiles. And we'll also use this one. So this is the only time I'll actually semi-cheat. So infinity ammo, I think it's the brown one. Yeah, just, yeah, perfect. So, when you're underwater, I can swim underwater and I'm not going to get attacked by leeches and other animals. And I don't need to... I personally like to use the AK. And because we're hungry, let's eat some food. So yeah, we'll save that. I refuse to eat that. See, barely anything. But the <laughs> the more you eat it, so the more you eat it, the actual more uh, stamina it recovers, and you develop a taste for it. What can I say? So let's get full stamina. Can't complain. <laughs> so now we look all creepy. Actually, because yeah, I just got to make sure that there are no.
No crocodiles near me. Just that one on the left. So, stun grenades, crocodile in front of me. Hey, buddy. Crocodiles are probably the best for food-wise. I mean, they, they give you three, which is awesome. Let's see. Headshot. And yeah, don't ever piss off these crocodiles. So what we're going to do, so we could, we, you can go that way, but we're going to go a very special way. And now I'm full on food, which is good. If anything, it's, it's better to be full on food than like constantly starving or uh, constantly having nothing because you can do some cool stuff later. So what we do, I think it was the X button. Yeah. So it'll take me. Okay, good. There's fish. Grenades, bullets. So yeah, you don't you don't really you don't really need to worry about bullets. Like I I'm not really gonna use the AK uh, the um, infinity face paint and all that kind of stuff very often. Like hardly ever, to be honest. I don't know. It's cheating. So see that item over there? We're gonna go get it. See if I I'm I'm kinda rusty nowadays. <laughs> Because, yeah, I've, I haven't played this in six years. So, what we're going to do is we're going to climb. So, we're going to do some really cool stuff here. So, you can do... Uh, you see that the, the rope underneath us? We are going to grab it. Actually, hold on. Ah, this thing sucks. So, what you do is uh, we're playing on the PlayStation version. You hit X and you mash triangle. <laughs> <laughs> because you, if you hit triangle, you can actually grab it. Also, triangle is what makes you grab stuff. So, always a cool thing to do. Uh, I think this is the crocodile cap. The crocodile tap eh, cap is a good thing for later. And I'll actually show it to you. So, the really cool thing about it... Uh, how much does this thing weigh? Not too bad. So, the funny thing about the crocodile cap is you have a little crocodile on your head. So, you can use it to intimidate the enemy, technically. But, it's mostly used for, uh, if when you're in the deep water like this. Come on, deep water. Deep water. Oh, well, we'll be deep water in a second. Actually, there's no... Okay. So, yeah, deep water. You can essentially uh, ru uh, scoot by undetected with this crocodile cap. Oh, yeah, do be careful because it does piss off the crocodiles as well. And you get this, like, first-person crocodile view. No, 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 no. Okay, let's, come on. Now we are free, we got the crocodile cap. Crocodile cap's really good for this part. Hold on, whoa, that was close. As you can see, there's a trap for me. So let's get back to some normal camouflage. And, and yeah, next area. So now that we uh, took down the alligators, we can actually move on and uh, get these guys. If anything, that's the that's the slowest I'll be. Let's see. Okay, nope, wrong gun. Wrong gun. So, let's uh, disable the electrified fence. Uh, both of them. 
And there's some claymores up ahead. So in this game, how to get claymores, just run, you just crawl up to them. Not, actually not smart in real life. Never do that. Seriously, for reals, never do that. It's probably one of the worst things you can do. But, uh... Is that a dog? I think that's a dog. I think that our pupper. Yep, that's a dog. And I don't feel like shoot or killing dogs. Maybe not. Not now, at least. Someone heard the puppy. Where did that come from? So, yeah, let's let's try and get as many, because clay claymores are are great great alone. Like them, not not particularly useful at the moment, but in due time they will. Whoop. Am I even hitting you? Yes, I am. Because sometimes that's always like the problem. Sometimes you don't know if you're hitting them or not. So yeah, let's grab these claymores. Because yeah, ne near the end game, we'll use those. They will be useful at, at the end of the game. But for now, not really. Dog wake up. Damn it. Dog woke up. Actually. Let's do this. Let's climb. Do, 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 do. Puppy dog. Say goodnight. Nope, we're on the other side of the wall. Or the fence. And anything in here? Not a... Not a damn thing. Oh yeah. I forgot. We can actually go up this route. Take the high ground, essentially. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay. Do, 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 do. Don't look over here, please. Those are uh, more traps. So let's see how many. I think there's just the two. So one. Oh wow! Didn't even hear your buddy. Good for me. Where's that guy there? I like how he's just chilling on the electrified fence. Nothing's wrong. Oop, don't want to go that way. Cause I, oh yeah, those, those are like shaky cans. So yeah, we're just going to meet him up here. Okay. I 
Actually, let's check our map real quick. Come on, map. I think, I think it's okay to go right. SOB. Like, I got a mosquito bite. Oh, yeah, this part. This part's a little difficult, but we will get through it. Oh, on my tippy toes. Actually, let's disable that. We have one guy taken out. If anything, I might just kill him. Who knows? Whoop. Because killing them, I tease and say killing them is a viable option. Technically is. You don't have to keep everyone alive. There's something underneath. Let's see. So I think I can go in there. Yep, there's all our food. Mouse trap. Shay. Hold on. Yeah, that's the fun part of it, but yeah, you... Pretty tasty. See? Now now he's starting to develop a taste for it. So every time I pick up gators, he's like, he's like, yeah, gator. Gator don't play that. Let's see. Crawl under the bed. Oh yeah, there's another carotan. Huh? What's that sound? So he heard us. Wait, what's that? Oh, I think it's a suppressor. What's wrong? Oh, he's getting up his buddy. Huh? Who is that? Crawl under the bed. I can't see anything because the Should 
Let's crawl up here. Maybe we might see something. Okay, that guy's asleep. I'll try and play a little faster sometimes, but can't rush stealth. I need to get some dynamite later. Yeah. So I think there's a weapons. I think that's the weapons depot in the back. Whoa. What was that? Nobody. I need to get suppressors for these. <laughs> Hopefully there's some over here. Names. Oh yeah. So. Well, this is the only time I'm going to cheat just to show, show it off. But uh, you can do some really cool things here. Let's say weapon. TNT. So. I'm going to cripple everybody right now. And what I mean by that, so if you put TNT in these areas, so I put TNT in the weapons, I'm going to put TNT in their communications. I'm going to put TNT where their food, their food supply. So you can do a really cool thing. And you can quite literally, hold on, let's blow all this. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh, let's get out of here. So, they can't call for the radio backup because I knocked out their uh, radio. I knocked out the radio, I knocked out their weapons, and I knocked out their food supply. So, they're not going to do anything for a while. They're going to be hungry. They're going to be extremely hungry. Say map there's technically we can go out that way hold on go back to sleep sir I think there's a guy over there <laughs> He's just running back. Oh. I guess everybody woke up. Trying to be stealthy McStealther pants here. Check my map. I must have just. Okay. Alright, I went the right way. I was just always curious. So now you'll hear the guards like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Feed me. And that's like the cool thing about this game, which I really like. Does they 
Do they give any items? Like, I just want a suppressor for my my uh, gun rations. Those Russian rations aren't very good. I wouldn't recommend them. They're a big waste of time. 